When it comes to vector addition and scalar multiplication, all the same properties of arithmetic hold as with the real numbers. For instance, we still get things like associativity, we still get things like commutativity, and we still get things like distributivity. In fact, we have a theorem. <coughs> Each part of this theorem follows almost directly from the corresponding property of real numbers. The method is exactly the same in each of them. You just go and look at components. So I'm not going to do all of them. I'm just going to do the first one and show you what it, how it works. So here we're going to proof of part A. How does this work? Well, we can write the vectors u as u1 through un because they're in Rn so that means that they have n components and we can write the vector v as v1 through vn. Then to show that the theorem is true well I need to compute both sides and show that I get the same answer. Well the left hand side of the, th of the claim, that's this guy here, that's u, so u plus v, that's going to just be u1 plus v1, u2 plus v2, dot dot dot, un plus vn. On the other hand, the right hand side, which is v plus u, is v1 plus u1 comma v2 plus u2 comma dot 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 vn plus un. However, we know that each of these components are the same and that's by the commutative property or by the corresponding property For real numbers. And therefore, since we know that the components of the two sides of this equation are equal, that means the two sides of the equation themselves are equal. So therefore, u plus v is indeed equal to v plus u. And each of the other parts of this theorem are proved in exactly the same way.